as many of you know, Ubisoft has been in development of their video game to feature film adaptation of Splinter Cell. Deadline is now reporting that Mad Max star Tom Hardy is still indeed connected to play the lead character in the film Sam Fisher, a deadly special operative who carries out black op missions for the Special Operations and Counterterrorism Unit Echelon. Also, Ubisoft had just brought on screenwriter Frank John Hughes to write a brand new draft for the film following drafts turned in by Oscar-nominated writers Eric Warren Sanger, American Hustle, and Sheldon Turner up in the air X-Men First Class. Mark Byers said that a Splinter Cell movie will actually happen. I'm buying it, man. This is exciting now. It seems like we got a really good crew in place, and Splinter Cell, along with Halo, is the reason why I was a communications major instead of a <laughs> doctor. Like, it just knocked me down. All the hours I dedicated playing Splinter Cell. Because you were this close to being a doctor. I, I was wanted- pre-med. I took a biology class. <laughs> Didn't work out. We saw things differently. <laughs> Uh, but Agreed Splinter Cell was awesome. Yeah. I mean, the only Cell study I did was Splinter Cell. <laughs> and playing Sam Fisher is just, it, it's a treat. I think it works so well as a big screen adaptation, whereas there's some other video games that they've chosen to make. And I'm like, well, I don't know how well that works, but this really is something that could pay off. Like, even if you took something like the Tomb Raider films that had a great premise, I think that that's, that was kind of like the female version of Sam Fisher just going on these cool missions into somewhere else, into some deadly territory. There was a lot of like, like shadowy stuff around, and you got to infiltrate trade something and that could be a really neat role especially for somebody like tom hardy so if he's still on board i'm on board even if tom hardy isn't ultimately going to be the one that plays sam fisher with this team in place this movie could be great what's interesting here is that ubisoft is kind of pulling a marvel like they've created their own film division Mm -hmm. and they're making their own films buy or sell whether this is going to happen right now i'm going to say sell um but by ever so small margin here's why I believe, now correct me if I'm wrong, I believe Assassin's Creed is also the the Ubisoft thing. I think that's the first one Ubisoft's going out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it is. And if that's the case, they still haven't started shooting that movie. We've been talking about that movie for like two or three years now, and they still have not even started shooting it. They're supposed to start shooting that in a couple of months, maybe in four or five months from now, they're supposed to start shooting. They've they've got Michael Fassbender, but they've had him for years. They've got a director on board. And, you know, they've had two Academy-nominated Oscar-level writers, and now they've gotten rid of that script. They're bringing in a new script. They still say Tom Hardy's involved. Look, once they actually start shooting Assassin's Creed, <laughs> I'll feel a little bit more comfortable that the Splinter Cell film will actually happen. But for now, by the narrowest margin, I'm going to give it a sell. Simply because I'm a sweaty Splinter Cell. Uh, I played all of them too. My favorite thing was getting the, the shocker, the, <laughs> yeah, the shocker person. <laughs> so much fun. The game is an incredible game series. If you've never played Splinter Cell, get on that. I want to see this done as a te- as a movie. I, I would love to see this as a, a film. I don't, Tom Hardy can be in it or not, but I, I think the mechanics of that game are make up what could be a, a fantastic film. Like having to move through the shadows, having to do all these different kinds of missions. Any one of the missions from the five different Splinter Cell games could be a fantastic movie. So just for that alone, whether or not it actually happens, I have no idea, but I still buy the idea of them hiring a brand new writer, get at least four more drafts from different Oscar winning people and then throw them away and then just get some unknown person and that's the one you're going to probably go with. That's probably what will happen. Headlines are going to run across the internet right now. John Schnepp says he loves getting the 